So we've seen Greece's 10-year yield into this election hitting a record low. Do you expect yields to drop even further uh, based on the results? I think it's uh, two factors that are leading to this. It is, of course, the expectation of the election result this Sunday, but it's also a broader European trend that we're seeing across bond yields all over the euro area, motivated by expectations that Christine Lagarde's appointment to the presidency of the ECB will lead to continued monetary accommodation. I think if that is sustained, um, I think bond yields will continue on this trend, but they are already quite low. OK, so you think bond yields could continue on the trend. What kind of reforms are you expecting if new democracy comes to power, Deny? Their program has been centered around prioritizing inward investment. Greece is entering a phase where it's no longer relying on uh, financing from the creditors. It will be entering a phase where market financing will become much more important. So investment friendly policies is what they've said they will prioritize. I think also inward uh, foreign direct investment uh, in infrastructure projects, privatizations. These will be the kind of policies that they've said they will put on their program. But also, as you mentioned earlier, uh, renegotiating the primary surpluses is something that will be very important, very central. It's something that uh, needs cross-party support, but also very close cooperation with Greece's creditors. Denai, you were saying earlier that the rally that we've seen uh, in Greek bonds and other European bonds is partly down to the expectation of more QE from the ECB. Of course, we've got a new head coming in, Christine Lagarde. Do you expect, with her at the head of the ECB, if we get a new round of QE, that Greek bonds could be included? This is a big question. It's an interesting question. I think um, whether new Q QE is needed is something that um, there's legal issues around it. We have, of course, the German Constitutional Court case also this month. It's something that, um, that Greece should be included if it was uh, repeated. And you did say that we could see a continuation uh, of, of a drop lower in bond yields across Europe, uh, Deny. I mean, one of the things that's been in focus as well in yesterday's session was the 10-year bond yield uh, dropping below the ECB's deposit rate, below negative 40. We then closed at negative 39. With where the bond yield is at, does that increase pressure on Germany to loosen the fiscal purse strings? Definitely. I think that's one of the factors that increases this pressure. I think uh, Madame Lagarde, in her role at the IMF, has been uh, very actively encouraging uh, Germany as much as she can th through her rhetoric to increase uh, spending in those countries that have the fiscal space. And Germany is a primary candidate for that within the euro area. I think the other factor that is pushing in that direction is um, Germany's flirting with recession this year. Its, its economy has not been doing very well. It has very um, much need for infrastructure investment, for example. And I think uh, as the euro enters its third decade now with uh, Lagarde potentially at its helm, it's something that it will really need to, to reform and reduce these imbalances that we have.